At this point in the module, I have introduced you to two main ideas. The first of these is the idea of impulse. If a force acts on a mass for a time delta t, we say that the force delivers an impulse to the mass. That impulse is equal to the force that acted multiplied by the time interval for which the force was acting. The impulse-momentum relation says that if a force acts on an object for some time delta t, therefore delivering an impulse to the object, then the change in the object's momentum is equal to the impulse. The other main idea in this module, which I just introduced you to in the previous video, is the idea of momentum. All I have really told you about momentum so far is that it is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity. In the previous video, we also put the ideas of momentum and impulse together in this thing here, which is called the impulse-momentum relation. As a quick demonstration of the impulse-momentum relation, let's say that I take this pill bottle here. If I would take a force from my hand, and apply that force for a short time interval, that would be a small impulse. If I would take a force from my hand and apply it for a long time interval, that would give me a big impulse. So let's say I give a small impulse to the bottle by pushing for a short time. You can see that when I give a small impulse to the bottle, we get a small change in the bottle's momentum. On the other hand, let's say that I deliver a big impulse to the bottle by applying that same force for a longer time. You can see that by delivering the bigger impulse, I got the bigger change in momentum. So small impulse, small change in momentum, big impulse, big change in momentum. There's one more key idea I need to remind you of before we get into the meat of this video. And this is something we saw a couple of videos back. Suppose we have a collision between two masses. In that collision between the two masses, the masses will exert forces on each other. Those forces will be exerted for some time interval. And because of that, we can say that the masses deliver impulses to each other. In that earlier video, we saw that a direct consequence of Newton's third law of motion is that the masses deliver impulses to each other, which are equally large and in opposite directions. Mathematically, we can say that the impulse vector that 2 gives to 1 is minus the impulse vector that 1 gives to 2. Now we're going to take all of this, and we're going to put it together, and we're going to get actually to the punchline which we have been building up to the entire module. So let's say that we have two masses, and those two masses are approaching each other, and they're going to collide. Let's say that before the collision takes place, mass 1 has momentum P1 initial, mass 2 has momentum P2 initial. The masses then collide, and then during the collision, each mass delivers an impulse to the other mass, as we discussed over here, the impulse that each mass receives changes its momentum. So after the collision, mass 1 has momentum P1 final, and mass 2 has momentum P2 final. Now what we're going to do is apply the impulse-momentum relation to each of the masses. For mass 1, we can say that the change in the momentum of mass 1 is equal to the impulse that it received from mass 2. So change in momentum 1 equals impulse 2 on 1. For mass 2, we're going to apply the impulse-momentum relation again and say that the change in the momentum of 2 is equal to the impulse that 1 gave to 2. Now what we're going to do is add these two equations together. When I add the left sides, I get change in the momentum of 1 plus change in the momentum of 2. When I add the right sides, I get impulse 2 on 1 plus 
impulse one on two. All right, now, at this point, see if you can get to the conclusion. It is possible, using information I've already reminded you of in this video, to assign an exact numerical value to this expression on the right. So maybe pause the video, see if you can figure out what the exact numerical value of this expression is, and then rejoin the video. Did you notice that the impulse that 2 gives to 1 and the impulse that 1 gives to 2 are exact opposites based on what we saw in an earlier video? To really spell this out, we can take this equation and then replace j2 on 1 with minus j1 on 2. Okay, so what would be minus j1 on 2 plus j1 on 2? That would be 0. So during the collision, we have that the change in the momentum of 1 plus the change in the momentum of 2 is equal to 0. Let's take that left-hand side and rewrite it. I can write change in momentum of 1 plus change in momentum of 2 as the change in the sum. In other words, change in the sum momentum 1 plus momentum 2 is equal to 0. What is this telling us? We had two masses come into the collision. Each of those masses experienced a change in its momentum. The momentum of mass one changed. The momentum of mass two changed. But the total momentum of the combination did not change. All that happens during the collision is that one mass gives a certain amount of its momentum to the other mass. There is an exchange of momentum going from one mass to the other, but the combined momentum stays the same. This is what we call conservation of momentum. This is such an important result that I'm going to write this out as a sentence. What conservation of momentum says is that if you have a group of objects and objects in that group interact only with other objects in the same group, then the total momentum of that group of objects is constant. We can express this in equation form by saying that if there is some process that takes place where objects in the group interact only with other objects in the same group, then the total momentum at the beginning of the process, or sum over p initial, equals the total momentum at the end of the process, or in other words, sum over momentum final. It is this idea here, conservation of momentum, which we have actually been building up to for the entire module. So in the next video, we're going to be doing our first example problem using conservation of momentum.